searching for the clue that may one day lead to a conviction. The police comb their way methodically through a number of locations across this city, as it was revealed today that the man they suspect of murder was a stranger to Bobby Ann McLeod. I can confirm that at this time there is no known link between the suspect and Bobby Ann. And I would like to reassure the public that at this time we are not seeking anyone else in relation to this matter. Four miles from where Bobby Ann was last known to have been, police have been examining a house. For operational reasons, they aren't explaining its connection to the investigation. Granted more time to question their suspect today, the evidence they gather at each site will be critical. Understanding what happened to Bobby Ann McLeod involves looking for the tiniest details. It's painstaking work, but it may well be that solving this mystery depends on the forensic science. At a time of raw emotion and grief, those that knew the teenager have been paying their respects, personal, moving and united in loss, including from her local school. Bobby Ann, by all accounts, was a very loving, caring, quiet and happy little girl who enjoyed her time at school and the fact that a bright future has been cruelly taken away from her is just heartbreaking all around. And tonight a vigil, a community together comforting each other, the love for the one they have lost shared. With hugs and tears. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Plymouth.